now to the 21-yard line for the fresh set of downs for Miami. Kaya going to throw a long ball near side. Caught somehow through traffic. How did Stacy Coley pull that one in? He's got a chance to set his feet. Look at him drop back here. See, he looks at it all the way, but he puts this ball over the top in a very small window. Make here. They have his 12th carry of the season. Fight forward to the 49 yard line. PJ Davis, 40. Kaya throws complete. It's Coley. Tries to make one miss, 12-yard gain. We check in with Chris Connor. Seven to go in the first half. Miami on a nice drive. Down to the Georgia Tech 30-yard line. Brad Kaya, nice patience. Looks to find about the third receiver in that progression. Kaya and company. Here's the 25th. Kaya with a nice throw. Far side. Caught. Stacy Coley on the comeback. First down because the defense is thinking run. Go on second down, in and out of the hands of Coley, and incomplete. I actually like the placement or underneath the speed. Brad Kaya says having direct contact with the head coach every day has been fabulous. There's contact with Stacy Coley, and the Canes have a touchdown on a quick drive all the way downfield. Watch him. He's right here. He's just going to go down and take that seam right there all the way across the field. Kaya hits him in strike. Nobody there, and then his speed, the afterburners come on right there. Well, down the field they went. Yes, sir, they did. Stacy Coley into the touchdown for Miami. Freshman Ike. They were freshmen. Yes. <laughs> so third down here for the Canes. Hit as he throws, an incomplete. Into the defensive backfield, Antonio Simmons again with a play for Georgia Tech.